Hey guys, normal consumer here. Look, I'm an iPhone user 95% of the time, okay? One of the big features for me is Apple's attention to privacy and security. It's no secret that Google knows more about us than we probably know about ourselves, which is actually kind of scary. In addition, it seems like Android phones suffer many more security breaches than iPhones. But are iPhones truly that much better at security and privacy? Or is it just a perception? Let's talk about it. But first, as usual, if you learn something new, if I can make a check you before the end of this video, if you like how I'm rocking, or if you just like my vibe, then go ahead, like, and subscribe. While you're at it, hit that little bell icon too to turn those notifications that way. Ding. You know I want to upload something new. Side note, PSA. I am not an expert. I'm just sharing what I learned from various sources. So if you want to read it all yourself, you don't have to, but if you want to, I will leave the links down in the description below. Now back to it. You see, there are plenty of iPhone security features which keep you safe and your privacy private. The iPhone has features out of the box, such as iMessage, which is in the encrypted, and the default message in app, so you don't have to find an, an alternative. The Apple has a tight grip on software and hardware as well. As a result, it is easier to keep you safe by rolling out security patches and updates quicker. There's also Private Relay, which has your IP address while using Safari, among many other features. Apple also has street policies for getting apps in the App Store. And thanks to this, there are many malicious apps which do not make it into the App Store to hurt users. In addition, users can't easily sideload applications outside the App Store. All these things and more keep iPhone users safe, but iPhones are not immune to security breaches and leaks and etc. So here's the thing, right? The iPhone, as I just said, is not immune to any security or privacy problems. In fact, just earlier this year, the iPhone security features, as good as they are, had a weakness in their defenses. Back in January, there was a bug which could allow users' Apple IDs to be viewed by third-party apps. You don't want that. In addition to this, those same third-party apps could override users' privacy preferences. Again, you don't want that. Now, Apple, of course, patched this security issue, but still it shows that iPhones aren't bulletproof. There was also another bug which was able to show a user's browsing history. In addition to that, there was some info from logged in Google accounts which were also leaked. Now, look, I'm not trying to shit on the iPhone, okay? Again, I use it. They have to be unbiased. Now, iPhones can fall prey to security and privacy problems as well. It's not as impervious as it seems. Now, according to TheGuardian.com, not all things backed up to iCloud are private. You see, iCloud doesn't have the same level of encryption that iMessage has. So why does this matter? Well, that means that content that iCloud has received to be backed up can be handed over to law enforcement. This means logs of time, date, recipient of emails sent in the previous 25 days, sort of photos, documents, contacts, calendars, bookmarks, Safari browser history, map search history, messages, and iOS device backups, only if it's backed up to the cloud. Now, again, I'm not shitting on Apple and the iPhone security features, okay? In fact, I personally have nothing to hide, and I'm okay with Apple helping catch criminals, but when a company says what happens on your iPhone stays on your iPhone, I kind of expect that to be true. It's the hypocrisy for me. But then again, iCloud is on Apple servers, so technically it isn't on your iPhone. Mm, that's some sneaky wording. Now look, Apple also needs to adopt RCS to a suite of iPhone security features. Google took shots at Apple earlier this year for not supporting RCS in its messaging app. Google has a point. See, RCS is the next evolution of, F of SMS and MMS. This evolution comes with one major feature, that is end-to-end -end encryption. So there's no secret that there are more Android phones in the world compared to iPhone. That means that you will most likely end up texting with an Android user at some point, probably soon. Because Apple does not support RCS, any text message you send from your iPhone to an Android phone is unencrypted. That means any and every message you send can be intercepted in route and viewed. This means that those risque photos you sent could have been intercepted and seen by an unintended third party. Yikes. Apple not adopting RCS is also a show of hypocrisy in my humble opinion. The company tops privacy will not adopt a technology which keeps their users safe. Hell, it will also keep Android users safe as well. Security and privacy should be for everyone and not just iPhone users. So, does the iPhone security features keep you safer than you would be if you use an Android phone? Look, from what I have taken away from the sources I use, the answer is yes, but with an asterisk. You see, one thing that really hurts Android is the vast amount of active devices in the market. Many times you hear of a security problem or privacy issue, it a lot of times affects devices lacking the latest security patches. Android suffers from fragmentation. This is because not all Android phones are on the same version of the operating system. As of this year, Android 11, which is two years old at this point, three years in the future, whenever you see it, is the most popular version of Android globally. There are plenty of phones with versions older than that still active, which is scary. And this means that there are millions of Android phones lacking the latest security features. 
With that in mind, it isn't a one-to-one -one comparison between iPhone and Android because there are way more Android phones than iPhones. So yes, the iPhone is more secure than Android, technically, especially out of the box. The Android phones, especially the ones with up-to-date software, are generally pretty safe to use. That means the new Google Pixels, Samsungs, etc., will keep you safer than a three-year-old lower, mid- or high-end Android phone. But there are steps you can take to make an Android phone more secure and private. With that being said, if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something new, if it made you chuckle before the end of this video, or if you just like my vibe, please go ahead and like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to turn those notifications that way. <laughs> Ding, you know, I'm gonna upload something new. And don't forget to check out more of my videos, like this one right here about ways to keep your phone safe, whether you use iPhone or Android. As usual, this has been Normal Consumer, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.